Hi everyone, today we're going to climb a hill and it's the completely wrong hill. I'll explain what I mean along the way. When I was about 18, my parents and I rented a motorhome and we toured around Scotland and we stopped at a place called Crean Larach, which is north of Glasgow. And I remember seeing this huge hill and I went, wow, I wonder how good it would be to climb that. Anyway, fast forward a couple of decades, not that many decades, mind you, um, I decided, let's climb that mountain. Um, for some reason, I thought it was called the Cobbler. In actual fact, it's not called the Cobbler. It's called Ben Moore. It's 1,174 meters high. That's 3,851 feet. But for the last 20, 30 years, I thought it was called the Cobbler. So the question is, if that's not the Cobbler, where is the Cobbler? And the Cobbler is over in that direction. And the more I looked at it, and it's about 14 miles away from Crean Larrick, the more I looked at the Cobbler, the more that I realized I wanted to climb that hill because it's got one of the most distinctive summits of any hill or mountain on the south of Scotland. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna to see some fantastic scenery and a pretty interesting summit on this hill as well. Well, it seems to be rush hour on the cobbler at the moment. Ahead of me I've got a couple walking, two single walkers. Behind me there's three or four in a group. It's all happening at the moment on the cobbler. The good news is, it reduces the chances of me getting lost. Because if I get lost, everyone else gets lost as well. You would have noticed I arrived by bus. Um, the next bus back is in around four hours and that's not leaving me enough time to get to the top of the cobbler and back down to the main road. There's a train in six hours and that's doable. And if I don't get the train, I have to wait another four hours for the next bus. So as you can see, the train looks like an attractive proposition. This track is a lot busier than I thought it was going to be. I've already passed two couples walking up here. And I'm now starting to catch up on a group of three. These pine trees are actually Sitka spruce. And as the name suggests, they come from the Sitka region of Alaska. And they're pretty well suited for uh, Scotland's climate, especially when it comes to rain. All the forestry commission areas of Scotland seem to focus on this tree because it grows so well here. In fact, it grows so well, I've got three of them growing in my home. In pot plants, you mind you. One day they're going to get so large I'm going to have to move them out. But until then, I've got a little bit of Alaska in my home. I've just counted 13 people and a dog ahead of me. This is a busy trail. Today's weather forecast said it was going to be fair, sunny spells, chance of rain, just 5%. Well, I think we've just entered the 5% now because it's starting to rain. Good job I brought my hat with me. And at the moment, the cobbler is surrounded by cloud. Oh no. Maybe by the time we get there, it'll clear a little bit.
Okay guys, are you walkers or hikers? So I've got a question for you. Please leave a note below. When you walk through the hills, do you walk with walking sticks? Now I've just passed a couple, middle-aged couple, and they both had a pair of walking sticks. And I'm not sure if they really needed them, they looked pretty fit. So I'm just wondering, what is the deal with these walking sticks? I didn't actually give them much thought until I was trying to cross a stream here without sliding on the slippery bit. Made it. I was walking through the Alps, the Austrian Alps, and the path was really, really narrow. And every second person seemed to be walking with these walking sticks and effectively holding everyone else up because it seemed to slow them down. So when I got home, I did some research to find out what the deal was with these walking sticks because I've never had the need to use one. And there seems to be no definitive answer apart from maybe helps their balance, maybe just gives them a bit of security when they're climbing over rocks. Not quite sure. But when I was walking through the Alps, all you could hear on this walking trail was click clack, click clack, click clack of people using these sticks. If you're a, a stick user, please leave a comment below. Because I'm curious to get some first-hand feedback from people who use them. Right. Oh, I've actually passed quite a few people which is disgraceful, considering my age. I should be toiling down the bottom somewhere. Yeah, the cobbler is still covered in the cloud. What, don't believe me? Because I've overtaken so many people, I always like to have a landmark just in case I'm at the front of the line. I don't think I am, but I have spotted a landmark, the Narnane Boulders. I'm always joking here in Scotland, if you don't like the weather, wait 20 minutes because it will change. Well, it's been 40 minutes and the rain started as drizzle and then there was a torrential downpour. Uh, there is a bit of sun coming out so I think we might be winning. We've actually reached another landmark as well which is a good thing. I'll explain what it is. That is the recommended way up and this is the recommended way down. That's why everyone else is heading up that way. Let's follow them. Right, sadly, because I didn't want to miss that train, I've marked on a map where I would like to be every hour over a period of six hours, just so I know whether I'm going to be able to catch that train or not. And at the moment, I'm about 25 minutes ahead of schedule. So I might just kind of slow down a bit, slow down, because I'll know to pick up speed when I'm heading downhill. Well, we've reached the saddle between the two hills. The path now goes left and it goes up and up and up and up and up and up and up. So that time I was saving, up until now, I think will now be lost as I clamber up these hills. Yeah, that was boggy. Both shoes totally sodden now, but we haven't got far to go. I've now reached the final leg and it involves clambering over stones so this camera is going away until I get to the top. It's 
so quiet up here. I think I'm at the summit. It was so peaceful up there. Plan of action now is to go down a different way. I can't see the path and there are people on it, so it can't be that hard to find. But I think trying to walk down this hill here while holding a selfie stick may not be a wise move. So I'm gonna put the camera away and I'll see you once I hit the trail. I think this is the right way. Let's give it a try. What could possibly go wrong? Wow, that was a really challenging descent, that one. All the guides tell you, approach the summit from the north, leave from the south. Approach from the north, leave from the south. And that's exactly what I did. And yet there were people trying to go up to the summit from the south. And I'm thinking, you are in for a real challenge. In fact, uh, for much of it, there was actually no path. It's just scrambling over rocks and wedging your way down cracks where the, the streams are running. And it, that was a nightmare. <laughs> Good fun, but... And there's loads of people with walking sticks heading up as well. And I'm thinking, have you done your research? Anyway, we're about to hit the main trail. I have made it in one piece. Although it was touch and go at one point, I wasn't quite sure where I was. Because as you get to the top of the, uh, the hill, there's no path. It's just a free for all up there. Right, I can see dots in the horizon. And that is the main path down to sea level. Hooray! Remember on the way up when I told you that um, I'd marked on the map where I should be every hour just so I can ensure I'm at the station for this train? Well, as it turns out, I'm running about 20 minutes late, but that's because of that horrendous descent from the, uh, the hill. I should be able to make up time, I hope. Otherwise, I've got a four hour wait for the bus. Well, that's typical, isn't it? As soon as I start coming down the mountain, uh, the cloud starts to clear up and you can just about see the summit behind me. Right, do you think I'm going to catch my train? I've just done a time check and I'm still running late and uh, I really don't fancy hanging around by the side of the road for four hours waiting for a bus. Do you think I will make it? All will be revealed in a moment. In the meantime, thumbs up please. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you either at the train station or I'll see you while I'm waiting at the bus stop, which I'm not fancying at all. See you next time.